Yeah. Welcome to Division Street. I'm Officer Crespo, 14th District, 17-year veteran CPD. I've been a foot patrol officer on Division Street. Uh, I'm going into my sixth year. Yeah, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss Division Street. You come to work every day, five, six years, uh, talking to the same people, seeing businesses close, seeing businesses open. Uh, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the neighborhood. I grew up in this neighborhood ever since I was a kid. My mother and father came from Puerto Rico. I was born here, but uh, they used to come here to the barber shop with my dad. I used to go to the grocery store with my mom. So I've been in this neighborhood my entire life, and uh, it's going to be tough to leave. And I, you know, I've been here so long, I kind of know everybody, yeah. and everybody knows me. I mean, which is the purpose of yeah, having absolutely. a foot patrol officer, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And then they feel like if, if they need to ask a question, they can come to you and ask you for you know, advice. And I guess it's that familiarity that makes it easier for them to deal with the police in general, you know? Because most of the time, you know, you're looked upon as the guy who writes the tickets or you're looked upon as the guy who, you know, who, uh, you know, in some cases, you know, maybe arrest a family member. But when they get to know you on a personal level and know that, you know, you're willing to help and that's, that's what you're out here for, then they appreciate that. And then the fact that, you know, I'm Puerto Rican helps a lot too. I speak their language. <laughs> and when I talk to them in Spanish, I sound like them speaking in Spanish. <laughs> so it makes it easier for them to to relate to me as well, you know? And that's a big deal. That's a big deal for a lot of people, you know? A lot of people would prefer to speak to you in Spanish than in English because they can, you know, they can convey their message a little bit better. Some of the best information that we've gathered comes from local residents who are tired of seeing gangbangers, you know, run in the streets day and night, you know? And, and they see a lot of things. And if you talk to them and you generate that kind of information and it helps. A lot of times that information or stop a problem before it starts. The bottom line is trying to keep everybody safe. But the sights, the sounds, the colors. You know, I've worked, uh, I've worked here uh, and I've enjoyed all the time I've had here, you know. But just like everything else, there's a new chapter in my police career. So hopefully I'll take some of what I learned here and I'll take it with me to the detective. In this I'm pretty fortunate. I deal with a lot of people on the street that um, they appreciate the police, man. They really do. They appreciate what we do for them. You know, everybody knows that it's not an easy job. You're going to have a few people that are going to, you know, say, say things that you may not agree with. But at the end of the day, we still have a job to do, man. And you got to do it every single day.